Hi, I'm George, and here are two ways to add a fast and easy border onto a photograph, even if that photograph is at an angle, like I have this one right here. Let's first go up to that layer. There it is. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe, and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of this. Now, the first thing you wanna do is to hold down the control key and then click on the thumbnail for your image layer. And that gives you a selection that matches that image right there. Now all we need to do is to stretch that selection. And there are two easy ways to do that. Go up to select right up here and come down to modify and expand. And you can then type in a value. Let's just put in here 60 pixels. The value is going to depend upon the size of your overall image. See right here, there's 100 pixels right there. So 60 is about that wide and it expands that by that 60 pixels. Notice how we have these truncated corners on this technique. Now come down to the layer just beneath that layer and make a new layer at that point. There we are. And then go over here, set white as your foreground color. That's that little arrow right there. And use the paint bucket and fill that. And then deselect, that's Control D keyboard shortcut. And there we go. There is a fast and easy border with these kind of truncated corners on it. Bit of an old fashioned look in there. Okay, let's do another one. Let's go back up here to our image layer. Same thing, hold the control key down, click on the image. That makes that selection at that size. What that trick does is it selects whatever the contents are of that layer. Let's now go back up to the select menu. This time, come down to transform selection and it gives you a bounding box like that. Now to make this one work out, come down here and we have our width and our height. Now uncheck where it says constrain proportions because this is gonna require different numbers in here. I'll first type in 20 right there, so it's 120, and I'll see how big that is. That's too much, let me bring that down to, let's try 110. That's a pretty good size in there. I'll go over here to the height and let's make that 110 as well. And it's a little bit skinny. So let's try 112, not quite enough. Let's do 114, and that looks pretty good. There we go. There's our nice selection, choose okay. Same thing, come down to the layer underneath, hit that new layer button, and then paint bucket and fill that, and then control D to deselect, and that gives us a border with nice square corners, as you can see right in there. So very easy to come in and do a border like this. Now if you wanted to put a drop shadow behind the border, you wanna put that drop shadow on the layer down here that's acting as your border. Notice it's just a big rectangle like that. So for this, let's go up to layer, come down to layer style and style settings. There's our drop shadow. I'm gonna put the lighting angle over here to the left a bit. I normally like it about 130. It's a pretty good number for me. The size is how soft your shadow is and the distance is how far away it is. See, there's the distance right there. And let's bring the size down, it gets sharper. Bring the size up, it gets softer. So the size is the softness and the distance, of course, is the distance and the opacity is how dark it is. I'm just gonna put it right here and bring it out just a little bit like that. Choose okay. Now you still see that bounding box in there, kind of hard to see exactly what's going on with that in there. Go up to select and deselect layers and there it is. Let's do one last fun trick on this one. I'm gonna go up here and let's select this top layer again. Hold the control key down and select that layer. And this is that bounding box again in there with the selection right there. Let's now take this layer here. I'm gonna copy this layer, right click and duplicate layer, choose okay. I'll pull this one on top like that. And then with that selection, I'm just gonna hit the delete key. There we go. And again, select, deselect layers and control D to deselect. And I now have that sitting on top of the hole in it. And that gives me this shadow effect right in here. So here's a frame with a shadow, which means that our picture is just back a little bit from a floating frame. So there you go. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click share, click subscribe, and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.